Is someone out there? Okay, hold them! Fill those holes! Come on, Shepard. Make it soon. Let's clear this place out. Shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Salarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive... What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! I enjoyed that. Look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime.
I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise. Evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This thing is fried. Orders, Commander? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new.
beginning our assault on the other one. That's the gun. We need to clear those gas and get the charges set. Charges are set and ready. Everybody get low and keep your heads down. <laughs> All right! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move.
Geth are sending in reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing.